I remember when I was at college and I always had a teacher who would never end on time. She was always, she would always go very late and when we would try to get our books together and try to get our things together to leave, even after the bell had rung, she would always, you know, really throw fit and really get upset with us for leaving on time. And I always felt like such a hostage. Let me go. Let me go. And then I had another teacher who never went to the time allotted. They always ended early. He always ended early. And it was always games or it was always, um, you know, you could read this or do something of that nature. And he never had the material that, um, that needed, he needed to fill that time slot. And so today, let's talk about VIP Kid and time management. First, we want to make sure that we complete the lesson in the time allowed. And so we are going to talk about in this lesson or in this um, episode, um, we're going to talk about major courses, uh, uh, level two through level six on time management. And then we'll do another episode um, about leveled reading, a free talk, grammar, and then possibly another one on unit assessment time, making sure you get everything in on those slides. They can be very difficult if you don't manage time well. So first, let's talk about kind of what the time looks like. If you're new to VIP Kid or you've never um, had a taught a lesson, or maybe you have, you're just, just trying to get some more tips and tricks, level two, through level um, six, um, and of course all the lessons are 25 minute, minutes long. They're the What VIP Kid says is it's 25 minutes to 28 minutes. 25 minutes being um, what the parents pay for and what the child is expected to sit in the class for. 28 minutes would be as if there's problems, and we'll get into that. All the slides are about 25, 27 slides long. Some of them are 28. So they're all right about that marker. You have an opening page. You have a warm up if you're on um, level three and up. You have a warm up page. If you are level two, they have a song. You have a reward page, so that's three pages. Then you have a, on the level two, you have a cool down page or basically like another song to like a warm down. And then you also have the goodbye slide and you have a blank page for extracurriculum that you need to, to cover if you need that. So you've got between five and six pages that are pretty slim on, on really what you need to cover. And then you've got Oh, if it's a 28 lesson slide, then you've got about 22, 23 slides to cover. That equates to about a minute per slide. And we want to make sure that we keep track of that is a minute per slide. One of the ways I like to keep track of it is simply, like I said, I look at my what slide number I'm on and I look at my clock and I try to gauge what my what my student needs how much more of the lesson is left and if I'm doing well one of the things that really will help beef up your lesson if you're struggling with getting to the amount of time that you need to like if you're if you keep maybe falling short on on the material that you have is extension questions which we covered in the last lesson I'll put a link for you to click on that watch that extension lesson uh, I'm sorry extension questions are great to extend the material to expand the materials scaffold up and also help you reach that time and we of course are not wanting to ask silly questions or questions that don't matter we get lost in the sauce and we're not really helping them in a certain direction we want to help them go a certain direction so we want to make sure our extension questions are not just time fillers, but they, sh they do help you fill the time. So you should be having plenty of exten extension questions. Um, maybe create a better game. If you know this is one of your regular students or the lesson doesn't have a lot of material this, that day, it's a more of a review, come up with a game. 
something I like to do with my students is these are just flashcards. And so as part of the reward, I'll just hold up three. I'll say one, two, or three. They'll pick a number, then we'll read the, the word. And that takes a couple seconds. And that's just a way to fill time. It's fun for them. We count how many cards they've gotten. And that's just something to fill time. So you can use some of those tactics as well. Making sure that you use extension questions and games to fill your time. There are times when your student is late, maybe they're having technical difficulties, maybe your child is really struggling on a particular slide, a particular element. Just today I had a young girl who didn't understand to click the pictures to select which ones um, were the correct ones and then a little dino popped up, great job, you know. She couldn't understand it and so we had to actually leave that slide and go on and then I came back to it. I will say there are times when um, nobody's fault per se, you know, maybe your student is just struggling that lesson and they do because that's why we're teaching them is they don't know what we're teaching them. So they, they may struggle, there may be technical difficulties, which is very frustrating, I know, in keeping your time. And then also maybe the child is late. Um, that is when maybe I would go over into the 28 minute mark um, using a few extra minutes. But just think of this, remember if you were sitting, uh, let's just say at a church service, you're sitting there and you know it's time to dismiss and the preacher keeps going on and on or you're at a conference, you're at a parent teacher meeting, you're at a staff meeting, you're somewhere and they won't let you go and you, you begin to, you're not even listening, you're, you're not even paying attention anymore. You want to make sure that you cut it off at 25 minutes for your sake so you can prepare for the next lesson and for the student's sake. If there is a legitimate need to go to the 28 minute mark, if you really, if the child would benefit, or I have had students who at 25 minutes, I'm ready to say goodbye, I'm ready to say um, see you later, and they want to talk a little bit about their day. That's fine. That's like a free will basis. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, we're not actively teaching. It's just a little conversation to end the lesson. I think that's great. I think that's personal and that, that helps strengthen the relationship. But by large and in part, we should try to end it at 25. So by adding extension questions, by um, studying our lesson plans to make sure we know what we're teaching and what the important information, what the important gist of the lesson is going to be to help our students get there and done. Last, I would say to make sure you don't go over your time, you need to know the material of what you're going to be teaching. Um, when I was student teaching in a brick and mortar school and when I see younger teachers come in, oftentimes when they go over it is because, surprisingly, they haven't looked at their material um, to see what was important, what I needed to focus on, and what was peripheral. And so they had a hard time focusing in on that, nutshelling that, teaching that, and maybe they got lost in the sauce. And I can say that definitely when I started teaching with VIP Kid, I would get lost in the sauce. I love to talk, I love to teach, I love to pull out the microscopes, I love to pull out the maps, I want to show pictures, encyclopedias, I can get into it so much on any topic. I love teaching, I love it, love it, but we need to make sure because we only have a 25 minute time slot, we don't, you know, expand all of this and have this like this three or four great slides full of reality, full of visual aids, and then we don't get to four or five slides. It'd be better to tone it down and get through all the slides and teach the child everything they need to know and then to have five, six, seven great slides packed with all these pictures and all these, you know, fun illustrations and then not meet the demand of what we're really trying to do and that is to get all of the information in. We'll say this before we go. Um, I all, I'm always very cognizant of the fact that they have a lot of homework. Many of these children have so much homework, and I'm sure if you've been teaching with VIP Kid at all, you'll, you'll have met those kids that are literally almost overwhelmed with the amount of homework. I had a little girl just, um, I think it was two days ago, said, it's a mountain of homework. I will never get it done. And 
we can all relate. We've all been there where we felt like our tasks were never going to finish. So we need to keep in mind these things. Keep it fun. Keep it exciting. Keep those extension questions like keep the props, keep the realia, but also make sure that we are ending it at a certain at appropriate amount of time for our students sakes, for our parents sakes, for our sakes. So that way we, we are strong on our lessons. Those are just a few tips on making sure that we keep our classes on schedule and managing time. It is a very hard skill to master, even um, if you have ever taught in a real classroom, managing your time, making sure that you stay on schedule. It's a hard skill, so if you're struggling with it, don't, f don't feel frustrated with yourself. Maybe just evaluate, should I cut out some of the extras, should I add some extras in? Um, maybe looking at it that way, maybe looking at it as, oh, one slide per one minute. If I'm a minute going too fast, then maybe I could add in some, some extension questions on the next two slides to kind of catch my slides up with my time, etc. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this. I have a very exciting announcement next episode. I cannot wait to tell you all. Um, again, if you have not um, seen my last episode on um, extension questions, go ahead and click that or wherever it is on the screen right now and uh, click and click and subscribe and like the page, share with your friends. Um, like I said, I just started this YouTube episode, uh, journey and I really am excited to go forward with it. Fresh content every Wednesday and I'll see you next time. Enjoy the journey.